All right, oh, let's switch to full face. See, we got some conversation going on already. I'm going to work on this map tonight, all right? It's not going to take 50 years. <laughs> What's going on, Samuel? Excited to make your map tonight, man. <laughs> I, I was reading all of these comments before hopping on here. Uh, that was hilarious. <laughs> I'm sitting here laughing. What's going on, Jesse? What's up, DJ Wizard? How you guys doing? <laughs> uh, I'm excited. Tonight's going to be fun. Don't pull your cards yet because I don't think that it has been activated. I actually have to wait for Nimbian to let me know. Um, so once he tells me that everything's good, I'll announce it here so you can pull. Um, so, I did you? I didn't see you pull yours, Samuel. Maybe I just missed it. I might have missed it earlier. I see Blitz... Yeah, a lot of people pulled today. <laughs> Could have been a lot of chances at it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got an official green screen. Hold on. Can I... Uh... Oh, hold on. Hold on. Wait for it. Wait for it. I'll show off the new green screen that I finally got up. I have to pull up my NVIDIA thing here real quick. Uh, oh, come on. Sorry, one second. This would have been way cooler if I just had it ready to go. Oh, Dungeon Alchemist. Give anyway, yeah, got a new green screen behind me. <laughs> Above Jesse's message. Uh, yeah, I must have just missed it then. Bummer. Bummer. That's all right. That's all right. You're going to have plenty of pulls, and we're going to have a lot more fun um, coming up with this this update once my cousin, uh, he's he's the one, that, he's Nimby, and he's the one that's kind of working on that. Once he gets everything kind of set up, we're going to have the, the new... Um, the new collection system in there, and then after that, I've been working on the item cards, uh, which currently, as it stands, it looks like there's going to be about 280 magic items in the in this deck. So, before you get worried about that, you know, making it hard to pull monsters and everything, we are not going to change anything about the monster cards that you can pull. What we're actually going to do instead is you're going to be pulling more cards rather than just the three for the monsters. You're going to pull three cards for the monsters, and then we haven't decided it'll be either two or three additional cards that are item specific. So it's not going to affect your monster pulls. It's only going to add more pulls for you for the day. And I think that we're going to have it to where when you press the um, pull uh, command once, it'll pull all of your cards, so that way you don't have to keep wasting time typing it over and over again. So got a lot of fun updates coming up. Uh, but for anyone that was not here when I went over what to expect with this coming update, uh, I'll show it off once more before we get into this map building. So let me slide over here to this encounter creation. Um, oh, about to push it. All right. You know what? I'll get back to this in a second. Uh, Brian, you can just let us know when you send it, and then we'll watch as uh, hopefully the cards come up. <laughs> Uh, do I have... No, I don't. All right, so for those of you just pulling in, I see that we've got a couple more concur concurrent viewers coming in. If you want to head over to the Discord, we are about to unleash the Storm King's Thunder uh, expansion into the Discord. So for those of you that have not pulled cards today, or if you've never pulled before, uh, feel free to do so. You should be able to click the link in, uh, down below under the video. Um... Move that bus. Yeah. We were joking. Actually, we were making that exact joke because uh, for those of you that don't know, I live in Maryland, so that key bridge thing is actually very effective of everything around me as well. Um, and they were talking about, like, when they make the new bridge, <laughs> they should have a giant ship, like, quote-unquote, blocking the view. And then it's like, move that ship. And then <laughs> move the ship out of the way. So it's just funny. That's the second reference I've caught uh, in the past week of that. So as soon as we get confirmation, uh, I have not pulled mine today either. So I will pull with you guys and we'll see. I really, really want just a little bit of foreshadowing of what cards are in here. I really want Harshnog. He is my favorite character from Storm King's Thunder. So man, what I would give to have not only his card, but like mint condition too, that'd be crazy. So, and if anybody, has anybody in the chat played Storm King's Thunder uh, or... They have been added. All right, pull away, everyone. It sounds like they are here. Uh, I can get rid of the mouse uh, overlay and the keyboard temporarily. Hopefully be able to see Horse Mac haven't played it. Here, let me, oh, wrong thing. Where is the screen? Main screen, here we go. All right, here we go. What do we got, what do we got? We have a rock, we have a Sturge, a Cataloth. K K Kanoloth? Not sure. Never played an official Wizards of the Coast module. Interesting. 
Uh, DJ wants to have the book, haven't played it. Nice. <laughs> it's a dense one, I'll say that. There's a lot you can do in it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pull mine. Let's see what we can get here. Oh, I see. Mooncom's pulling. Storm Giant. I was actually just trying. And a nine. I may trade you for that one. Hey, dog, got any more of them Satchmon pulls? <laughs> Bad luck continues. <laughs> um, yeah, Mooncom, depending on what grade my uh, Storm Giant is, I, I may try and trade you up for that one. All right, here we go. Come on. All right, we got an Aaron Yez. We got... Oops. Well, 20 hours. <laughs> a centaur, come on! Adult copper dragon, eh, not bad, not bad. My cards never have any value. Have not played and have the book though. Yeah, uh, I mean, I do recommend it. It's, oh goodness. I do recommend it. I really liked the adventure a lot, uh, but like I said, it is very dense. So uh, there's a lot of prep that goes into it because it's so like, it's so overworld. Because they have, I mean, places, so many places outside of the actual campaign itself that your players can cover. Why can I not get this right? I apologize that the screen's going all crazy for you. I'm trying to get it back to the size it was. I don't know. Hopefully that's right. All right. So, uh, let's see. Mooncom pulled a Kazme, I imagine you call it. All right. So, I will go back now to the... Whoop. Uh, that's that. That's not what I wanted. Hold on. Where is... Here it is. Okay. So, the updates that you can expect once, uh, once we push it. This isn't going all the way down. It's wild. So, when you come in here, you can't really see it at the top, actually. Let me drop it down some. Uh, when you go to check somebody's collection, you'll actually be given a link, uh, or we may even just have a permanent link there that you can click. I'm not sure yet how that's going to work. But once you click it, you're actually going to be brought to this page that's going to show you everyone's collection, all the exact same. So uh, what you'll be able to do is scroll through, and let's just say you want to check yours, which mine is the last one here. So you'll be able to click yours, and now you're going to see your entire collection, not just the top 15. Uh, you won't have to download this or anything. This is right through the web page. Uh, you can scroll through. You can sort it by whatever you want. Right now, it automatically sorts by the card itself. So we start at the giant crabs. I got two of them, by the way. Looking at you, Widget, if you're looking to grab some more. Uh, and then you can sort it by any of these. Card ID, CR, the expansion, the value, and whatnot. So these are all going to be sortable. But then, better yet, you can come up here and sort through the different sets themselves. Uh, Spoilers, there's going to be additions on cards. Yeah, I did mention it in my last stream, so uh, I guess I didn't think to mention that now. But, um, so yeah, you'll be able to actually sort by the different sets and see where you are in completions and so on. So uh, it'll tell you if you have it. But like I said, you'll also be able to look at others and see what maybe they're going for. You'll be able to see what they have. These lists are not accurate. This is just a bunch of tests. So if you see your name and it's not the cards you have, that's why. <laughs> So, a lot of fun coming up. I I'm really excited for this. Uh, Brian's over there crushing it. He's working super hard on all this. So, shout out to him. <laughs> Wouldn't be possible without him. So, that's the fun there. Now, let's go ahead and get back into this map creation here. Um, oh, you know what? Does it look odd? Hold on. I have the stream up here. Does it look like a weird resolution? It does. Hold on. Can I fix this? I have it currently set to my monitor dimensions, which my monitor, oh, it's not gonna let me. All right, sorry, it's an odd dimension right now. Right now it's set to uh, 1920 by 1200 instead of by 1080, which is why it's not like that widescreen view you normally get. Uh, I will have to fix that. I didn't realize that it did that. So, um, unless I can fix it over here. One more second. Customization. Nope, can't fix it. Okay, so it'll be fixed by the next stream. All right, so here's what we got. Uh, so Samuel slash Soul Taker was the winner of the 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Shout out to all of you who are subscribed, who had subscribed by then. Uh, without you, I could not have done that. So huge thanks to all of you. 
Uh, but I had the giveaway and the winner was going to be able to receive a map that I'll just make for you, whatever kind of map you'd like. Um, and I was going to stream me making the map here. And so I reached out to Samuel, we talked a little bit, uh, and essentially we're gonna be making a magic shop that's kind of in the middle of a town. Um, and it's gonna have two floors. The second floor is gonna kind of be where the person running the shop uh, will live. And so um, I don't know too much more than that yet, but luckily Samuel is here, so he can kind of give me some some pointers as to what he wants before we, <laughs> 50 years later, <laughs> before, we, um, before we finish it up. So I did do a little bit of research uh, and what I found, because what I wanted to do, because he said in the middle of a town, so I did want to kind of have a little bit of a town setting outside of the shop. And I was trying to find a good way to do that. Um, and I think I found a good way to at least make it look like roads. And what I found people actually do, and I'll show it as I make it obviously, is they make rooms, but without walls. And that's because those have the best stone floors that you can use uh, that kind of look like gravel roads going through. So not too square, more rectangular. Okay, perfect. No, that's fine. This is, uh, this is way bigger than your shop will be. This is a really big map at the moment. Um, and we'll just scale it up or down as we go. And then I have this little, <laughs> this little uh, time piece to mark the center of the map. So we're thinking rectangular. We'll start with that. Uh, now we're talking town here. Um, so I think the best, I, I, I don't know if we want to use tavern as like the base or castle. Make an alleyway and change floor type. Yeah, that's exactly essentially what we're going to be doing. Um, so let's go with tavern, uh, and we'll start with, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know, not tavern. What am I thinking? Uh, honestly, mansion, if it's like a nicer magic shop, we could go mansion on this one. Uh, so I don't know. Let's go great hall. We'll just start there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 40 feet wide. Uh, by, let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Oh, that would be 80. Oh, and it would not be 40, actually, but that's fine. So it'll be 80 feet by, what, 120? That's a massive building. Um, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's a massive shop. So let's see. A little more rectangular in shape. We are going to have to add some stairs in it and stuff. So we'll start with this. And if we find that, because we do want to have obviously lots of shelving and stuff. So if we find we got to make it bigger, we can do so. Narrow it down a little bit more. Not a problem. Um, and you may have said that before I did this one. But um, here we can. Let's get rid of that. We'll start with that, and then uh, we can we can adjust as needed. So now, just because which way is the map faced? Yeah, the map face is this way. So I'm going to move the door just for just for visualization sake of this. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think we want a double door just so it's nice and centered. Uh, unless you want the door in a different place. Uh, that's totally up to you. You can let me know. Let me slide over to the double doors, and I'll just place one for now. We can always change it. All right, let's pick a wall. Door on the center works. Perfect. All right, so as far as walls go, um, what do we envision for this town? Are we envisioning, like, some of these... So this kind of wall here, almost like a, a brick with wood or maybe like an actual brick building. Um, is there any brick wall? Yep, perfect. <laughs> That's funny, I actually just pulled up brick walls when you asked that. Uh, I don't know, maybe this one? And obviously the windows are gonna change with this. I don't know if we'll keep them wood. They don't really match too well, but. Um, and then I see masonry with wood beams all right perfect all right so let's go ahead and just delete these windows we'll add windows that match more appropriately as we go uh samuel what kind of flooring you thinking you thinking stone flooring we think and keep it wood 
And in the meantime, while you do that, uh, what do we got? What could you try with one of the wooden beams to make? Oh gosh, what? Wait, could you try? Okay, got it. And I see a tile. All right. Let me go back to walls. Sure. I think is that what you're talking about? Could you try the one with the wooden beams? The masonry with the wooden beams. Yep. So that's the masonry with the wooden beams. Get rid of these. Get rid of these. See, we've got some more viewers coming in. If you are part of the Discord, the Storm King's Thunder expansion for the Satchamon is available. You can go pull now for that. If you've never been in the Discord, feel free to go over. Everything's free. You can slide in. We're collecting Satchamon cards, which all the instructions and details are in the Discord for that. And the link is down in the description. Uh, I like it with the wooden beams. Just wish they weren't all the same angle. Yeah, I agree. Like, they should have definitely V'd them a little bit. <laughs> um... So it's up to you if you want to keep that or not. And then in tile, let's see. Um, I feel like we could go with a fancy kind of tile just because it's a magic shop, you know? Yeah, go back to no wooden beams. All righty, sounds like a plan. Whoop. Storm King's Thunder gets released, and who do I pull? Gundren. Did you? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> oh yeah, I see it. Grade of seven though. All of them have been really good grades. Um, so, uh, let's see. What kind of flooring as well? Being a magic shop, I don't know. Maybe some marble flooring. Uh, we could even go with like a white. If you want it to be on the fancier side of things. Um... We could go... I mean, the blue is kind of cool. Let's see. These... I think a tile would work indeed. I would like this to feel as close to a Victorian as possible. And darker floor. Okay, got it. Darker colored floor. So, I mean, we have the dark marble tile. Uh, that might be kind of cool. So, darker for sure. Okay, perfect, perfect. So we have dark tile here, and then we have the straight marble tile. I think a wood would be better, okay? So let's slide over to the wood. Uh, darker hardwood, something like that. Rather than like the herringbone pattern we had before, we could go with this. And this would probably match the uh, furniture we'll be putting in, because a lot of the furniture is a dark wood colored, especially the shelving. So if you want to keep it with the dark wood flooring, we can do that. That looks nice. All right. Looks like we've got some agreements on the look there. Now, I'm almost wondering, so if we're going to be having shelving as the, for people to be able to peruse through magic items, I almost feel like his counter where you buy things, uh, could you make the walls darker? I can't change anything about the walls, unfortunately. It's only how, whatever they look like is, is what they are. Uh, now, if you mean, can I pick a different wall? I can definitely do that. Um, but as far as changing the walls as is, I can't really mess with it, unfortunately. Um, so, yeah, let me know if you want me to change the walls. I can. Um, but in the meantime, I feel like because they're going to be walking through the aisles. Um... Oh, okay, got it. That's true. You can change the inside specifically. So if you wanted... For instance, like this kind of wall on the inside. Oh, shoot. Of course, it did not prove my point here. Come on. Oh, I think it did actually do it. Hold on. Come on. All right. That other brick worked. All right, cool. Yeah, actually, you're right. I do like it better without the white top all the way around. I agree. Cool. Um, so, yeah, what I was saying is I think that because they're going to be walking through the aisles and such, I almost feel like the counter for the, for the person running the shop should probably be up front on one of the sides. That way, if anyone tries to, you know, make a break for it or whatever, they're there and ready rather than if you put it on the side or something and people just walk in, grab something, and walk out. Uh, so... 
that was my thought. Feel free to change that thought process if you're, if you have something else in mind. Um, and I guess what kind of counter do we just want? Like a regular countertop? Do we want? Um, let's see. And then I'm thinking like we can go across with this all the way to here and leave that open. That'll be how it goes in and out. Regular countertop, yeah, but I feel it'll be better in the back. So you want the counter, just to confirm, clarify, you want the counter in the back of the shop? Back here. Oops. Oh. And slide this over. And probably, let's see, maybe the corner here. So that way he can go in and out. I like that. Okay. Uh, yeah, the back works. All righty. Sounds good to me. So, all right. Now we've got the counter at the back. And now I know we talked about shelving units with magic items and all that that people can peruse through. So first we'll need some shelving. Now we did download, I don't know if I could, how do I find those display cases we downloaded? All right, so we've got some display cases. Now I feel like the, the nice stuff you might wanna keep maybe towards the back, whatever would be in here. That way the, the shopkeep has eyes on it at all times <laughs> some rugs down okay all right so i guess um well let's do this i will move these once i once once i show this and you confirm what you want um where's the shelving at shelving 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 so nope that's not it here we go let's just imagine these shelving units for now. So are we picturing oops a long rug right up to the counter and then two that split off from side to side, kind of dividing it into sections. Okay, I like that. I like that. So let me find the rugs. Rugs, rugs, rugs. rugs. Um they're down in utility, I think. Oh, decoration, here we go. Rugs. Okay, now I wish we could have a really long rug, but we can get away with probably having a whole bunch of them. Uh, I can change this color as well. Uh, is there a color you would like the runner to be? Because we can adjust it. Uh, I don't like that the corner tapers up. I like that rug, but feel a red would work better. Yeah, I agree. I want more of a red rug as well. So, we may have to... Hold on. Uh, let me look at the abstract, see what we've got here. Uh, this says customizable plane. What's this say? Large customizable plane. Um, oh, you know what? Let me, let me look at the Steam Workshop. Let me see what we got here. I feel like they've got to have a red rug. Whoa, not making a hobbit here. Red rug. Uh, here's this one. Salmon carpet. <laughs> it's close. <laughs> Place object. I have to raise it up a little. All right, how do we feel about that? 
try runner instead of rug. Let's see. Whoop. Oh, why would they make it vertical like that? I can't see. This is literally perfect, except I can't turn it. So this is more of a flag than anything. Yeah. Shoot. Why'd they do that? Yeah, this rug would have worked perfect. Um, trying to think of what I can do. I mean, so what I... All right, all right, hold on. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you want me to hang it on the wall, I can totally do that. That's totally up to you guys. Um, but let me see if I can... I think I can download... Oh, jeez. They're just showing me pictures of people running. That's not what I'm looking for. Uh, I can probably download the picture of it. Put it in a square um, image there. And then just make the square really big. I need a top-down. They're not giving me a top-down view of it. They're giving me all these... Ah, come on. It's got to be a good picture here somewhere. We can make this work. Okay. Victorian red rug image and upload it like you did with the... C yep, that's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, so we're going to pull up GIMP. We get a little GIMP lesson again today. Woo! <laughs> All right. Oops. So, what I envision, first we have to uh, gotta cut out this white here. Select, invert, delete. Select none. Actually, I didn't even have to. Let's do this. What? Hey, we got, and he pulled a harsh nog. <laughs> Let's go. Shilzari, all right, let me pull it down here. Shilzari pulling two Storm King's Thunder card. I pulled card number 69, I win. JP Higgs. <laughs> that is so funny. Oh, awesome. Thane Kyolithica and Harshnog. I am so jealous of Harshnog. So JP Hanks, let me know. Let me know. I was just I was just whining when I started the stream about how I really wanted him, so. <laughs> That's awesome. And it paste as new image. Whoa. Edit copy. Edit paste as new image. There we go. Uh, file save export as. And we'll go to just downloads for now. And downloads. And we'll call this one red carpet. Okay. Don't need to compress it. All right. I don't need to save any of this. Now, let's go ahead and pull a new... Hold on, sorry, I'm getting the image I would like sorted and we'll send it over. All right, cool. Yeah, if you want to do that, that works for me. Um, but just to finish off my little my little teaching session there for anyone that's watching it. So once you export an image, you can come down here to, you go to objects and you go down to abstract and pick the plane of choice, which for this one, uh, I wish there was a rectangular frame. So we'll do that. And now you can go here and pick your image that you'd like to add to it. Wow, I'm a clown. I forgot to make it uh, a square. But it's fine. You can still technically use this. <laughs> um, so let's just say... So the reason that didn't work is because my image was rectangular. So when it puts it onto a square plane, it stretches the image. Uh, so that way the the it, it fits the square, but it basically stretches it too long. What I should have done is kept the canvas of my image in GIMP a square and then left the rectangle rug in the middle with the transparency on the sides, then this would've worked. All right, so he sent the image over, so, okay. All right, 
So we're probably going to get the same issue with this one, but that's okay. Uh, let me save this red carpet two. Um, because it may still look fine. If it doesn't, then I'll fix it. So let's change this to red carpet two. And now if I were to, there we go. All right, Samuel, what do you think? Is that all right? <laughs> That's pretty cool, honestly. <laughs> I like it. So you go open it up to the to the carpet up there. Perfect. That's awesome. All right, excellent, excellent. Now, uh, I see you said make it go left and right, dividing it into sections. Uh, just tell me if I'm correct. I believe you meant from the middle here. Um, or did you mean goes left and right Hold on. back here by the counter? Yes, from the middle like that. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Okay. So we've got the rugs down. Um, and again, we, we'll be able to change the door and the windows as we go. But let's figure out how we want these shelves in here. Uh, so are these shelves okay? Um, and should they go to the wall like this? So that way um, people have to, you know, you come around the rugs, you walk down here. And should I, actually, should I bump these up to here instead? And that should get you an, actually an extra row. This is a massive magic shop, by the way. I hope this is a huge city you're putting it in. Shelves up against the wall with tables in the middle with items on it. Got it. Got it. Okay, uh, what about, okay. So should the shelving also be... Uh, this place is looking way too fancy for my riffraff. <laughs> Should there be shelves here up against the rug as well? We go to table. And we'll get some noise. Uh, honestly, I'll just use... No to the shelves up against the rug. Got it. Oop, didn't mean to do that. Okay, uh, uh, uh. I don't know if these tables are too big uh, for what you're going for. Would you like them this way? If you could do smaller tables and maybe shelves running up on the wall to the door. Okay, yep, we can do that. Um, should I make this table? Well, I'll see what other tables they have first. So, we want to save some space. I love my character walks in, breeze deep, turns around, and walks out two minutes from my butt. <laughs> All right. So, I mean, if you're okay with it, it's it kind of bumps up against the shelf here. Make one of the corners a restricted area with shelves against the wall. And a velvet rope blocking access to the dangerous and high gold items. Interesting. I like that. Um, smaller table, smaller table, smaller table. Now, are these smaller? Okay. These tables are smaller than the ones I was using before. Like that's perfect. Oh, I like that horse back and teeth. Uh, delete this. I will obviously get rid of the food stuff. Um, so... How does it, how does the layout look besides the food? Is there something that you want to adjust? Something you want to uh, add, take away? Oh, the shiny rug. That's the problem with planes, is obviously it doesn't take into account texture. So when the sun's up. They are supposedly supposed to be adding, um, oh sure, we can do that. Uh, they are supposed to be adding roofs somehow. I don't know what that would entail. I guess maybe when you're just taking pictures, the roofs will be there. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see, let's go to decoration, rug. So a circular rug to kind of go off the others. Thinking an oval shaped rug. Uh, that's totally fine. They don't have any here. So if you want to find a rug you want to add, we can totally do that. 
Um, I don't know. Ooh. Oh wait, one, two. Yeah, that's that's fine where it's at. I think. All right, let me. I'll move this rug around or add whatever rug you'd like. Uh, I'm just gonna go delete these items real quick. Oh jeez, it's stacks of them. <laughs> Oh, it was just cups. Okay. I thought it was like stacks of plates. All right. Um, so, uh, I imagine we want the same layout on the other side. Oh, you know what? Let me back these up to the wall. Oh, that rug is fine already. Okay, cool. Uh, is that how you want it? Do you want it big and underneath the two tables as is? Or did you want it like a smaller one? Although I feel like they would bump into each other if I did a couple smaller ones. Uh, but either way, it's totally up to you. Big and under both tables. Perfect. Um, I'm going to back these up to the wall. I didn't realize they weren't against the wall. And bring it there. And that'll at least open up the little nook here. So that way any items that are there... Uh, are still accessible. Are these not? Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, so do you want the same thing on the other side? These same things over here? And then do you want the display cases to start coming out more towards the counter in the back? So that way they're closer to the, to the guy running the shop? Uh, let me pull this up real quick. Man, I'm so jealous of the Storm King Thunder Pool on the other side, but more tables closer to the counter. Okay, got it. All right, so let's add these here. Also, is the music, can you guys hear the music? I went back and watched my video last time. I noticed that at least on my phone, I couldn't even hear it. Um, can you overlap the shelves so it looks continuous? Yeah, I could probably do that. Uh, ooh, okay, probably, but you're still going to have this bar here. So I can do it like this if that works, um, and then it gets rid of this middle section here. So if that works, I can totally leave them like that. Uh, the bar's fine. Okay, cool. Uh, Jesse, can you, oh, 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 that's funny. Jesse said it. It's funny. I was seeing Samuel and Jesse is like all Samuel talking. So I was like going back and forth, I guess, between your two chats. Uh, but so I guess Samuel, do you want it like this or do you want it back how it was? Totally up to you. And you were saying in the corner. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. All right. Hold on. Okay, all right. So, maybe. Uh, so I can probably do it. It just won't go all the way to the door. But that looks pretty good. And then just... Uh... Yeah, sorry about that. I was misunderstanding what you were asking. Uh, I thought you were saying the whole way. Yeah, so now it goes all the way around. Yeah, that's cool. I like that a lot. Solid call. Yeah, merge in the corner as well to look like one long shelf and do not mind if it does not go all the way to the door. Some decoration there to cover. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can ha I'm, hey, big fan of painting. I would start thinking about what image you want up on your paintings because you can put whatever you want. All right. So, all right. I like that a lot. That was super cool. So let's put these... I just go backwards with this. Are these different on this side? Huh. What's this? Oh, yeah, they are. Uh, just put some magical robes or cloaks on display by the door. Also true. Also true. Yeah, I have a feeling since this is a magic shop, we're going to be doing a bunch of asset searches in the Steam Workshop looking for... Uh, <laughs> Looking for some perfect items to be adding. I'm so excited for items to be added as cards too. That's why I asked everybody in Discord what your favorite items were. Because I wanted to make sure I added uh, some crowd favorites. Alright. 
just slide this over a little. All right, Magical Rose book. <clears throat> Magical Rose Nova Clocks, maybe. <laughs> okay. There we go. All right, and then... that there all right so let me just get a good top-down view real quick make sure everything looks lined up and move a rod that will lock into place if someone tries some thievery honestly that's a great concept for a shop you can have anybody watching the door they don't have to be strong at all they just have to be able to hold the rod and press the button up against the door in the worst case scenario <laughs> that's a really good idea <laughs> All right, so now we're going to put this here, this here. Get rid of that, that, and that. And um, some oval-shaped tables on the other side. Sure. Oh, over. So instead of these tables, change them to oval-shaped tables. Let's see. Do they have those kind of tables? Let's see. All right. So. I see this, which we could definitely bring down. Um, let's see what else we got. That table's perfect. All right, great. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. I do wish. How, how far is this? Oh, okay, we're good. I thought it shrank it down to like shin height. <laughs> uh, let's see. All right, I'm gonna have to eyeball this one as far as putting it somewhere because it wants to snap into an odd place on the grid. So, did any of you guys play Far Cry? By the way, not Far Cry. I'm sorry. Did anybody play? Um, uh, Fallout, by the way, I just saw on Netflix they released a TV show. I never played Fallout personally, so I didn't know anything about it when I started watching it. But show looks interesting. It's not Netflix. Oh, I'm sorry, Amazon. You're right. It was on Amazon Prime. Um, Fallout Three. I just finished the show. Oh wow, finished it quick. Didn't it? I think it just came out, didn't it? Uh, Jesse, like the empty boxes on the shelves at Staples. Uh, all right. Oh, see, these are short. Shoot. Um. Okay. All right. I will do that. That's hilarious. A little Easter egg, huh? Um, Samuel, I don't know if you can tell. It looks like this. these tables, because they're normally a lot bigger, are really short. A um, couple of candles on the wall by the entrance. Yep, we'll definitely do that. Uh, typically, I wait till the after we get everything set to put the lighting, just so that way you know, we're, we put what we want in there and then work the lighting around that. The smaller table flat. Okay, cool. All right. So, uh, I guess that's good for there for now. Let's go ahead and decide, I guess, what we want back here. Also, I just put this here. It doesn't have to stay. Um, never really got... Yeah, DJ, I never really... I wasn't much of a gamer myself anyway. So, I too never got that into it. But... Um, okay. So, I know you said more tables back here than shelving, I think. Yeah, absolutely chose uh, the... <laughs> absolutely chose the dice. Uh, so, yeah, actually, me and Samuel did look for some glass display cases. And I was able to find in the asset thing all these things here. Uh, this actually was part of this set already 
Where? <laughs> I was a huge gamer that I had kids. I get that. <laughs> Shoot, where did those display cases go? All right. Um. We had a full set. See, I don't think this really looks like a display case. Mm, we'll see once we pull it up here. Place object. Yeah. I just don't think it looks like a display case. Could just be me. But I wish I could just find... Those casings do look good if they were on top of the table. Uh, when you Do you mean this one that I just put in? If this was on top of the table? Got it. Uh, we could definitely do that. So, because we can even scale them down a little bit. Uh, I probably should have not turned this. Hold on. Let me get it back to... Uh, yeah, that's that's pretty straight. Okay. So, could you make it horizontal, not vertical? I think I did see one that was horizontal. Open, uh, browse assets. Yeah, here we go. I don't like clicking subscribe and download because it feels like I'm like committing to something. Okay, I don't like, there we go. It wasn't letting me do it in increments. So we're saying put these on a table, which can absolutely be done. So what I'm wondering, what if, uh... Uh, could you make it, oh yeah. Um... Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, no, I, I agree. The more I'm looking at them, and that was a good idea to put them on the, um, on a table. I'm just curious if this table will look nice or... So we'll add, I think I should space them out a little bit more, try and get a, oops, delete that, try and get a good spacing for them. I need, a, <laughs> I need one of those, I feel the counter's not working more, something the size of the glass works better, okay? Let's see. Or something the size of the glass, let me pull up the table um, I need a nice small but tall rectangular table brighter one that pops in the room. Uh, so, oh, you mean like square, hold on. File. Display. Because they have this display case. They also have this really long one. I'm just gonna download all of these. Do you want a broken one in there? <laughs> Small but tall sounds like a <laughs> close shot. <job. laughs> uh, 
I'll download this one. And then, I thought there was one more I wanted to download, okay. So let's try the square one, which I think is at the top, right? There we go. So we can do something like this. The only thing I'm nervous about with this is it might look really tall on here once I scale it. What about something like that? That. Here, let me delete these out of the way. Um, so that could be a display case. It's so odd how it's working with the glass, like how it's reflecting it back here. I mean, I get it, it makes sense, but. And then shrink the table. Got it, I see what you're saying. Got it, got it, got it. I, what you're saying makes sense. All right. going to be a top down map or are you going to run it 3d uh i i mean so it'll still be top down but you'll get 3d uh it'll look like this so how you still get a 3d image kind of um so depending on where the object is you'll see like a 3d portion of it uh so yeah it's kind of a mixture of both uh, it's not straight top down, which is what this would be, but it's more of a top down with 3D visuals. And then you'll have like the foundry assets and stuff like that. All right, so I wish I could attach these. Ugh, all right. So if I put that here and that here, I guess, how do you want them? Do you want them along the wall? Do you want them, I'll just place this table here. Do you want it here? Do you want it along the wall? And I guess if you want multiple, do you want them spaced out like, oh God, here. And then I could, all the fancy stuff's here. Uh, like to space down the up of a, maybe a, a big, I need to get this, this heart icon out of the way. A big long one rubbing across the wall, okay. So what if, hmm. It's gonna be a wee bit difficult getting this lined up because it doesn't want to snap oh gosh <laughs> it only wants to snap to the center of the squares so let me move these out of the way for a second I think we got to move it to the intersection of the squares to fit the one in the back so we can put that here Put this one here. I see a lip pulling cards. Rooting for Storm King's Thunder. Rooting for another harsh nog. Where's the square? Oh, this one. Like that. And like that. Young Black Dragon, Vampire, and Animated Armor. No Storm King's Thunder. And I will sort these out in a moment. Then another rug underneath them all. Absolutely. All right. So then we could do the long one running this way. Uh, so the long one, I mean, I saw this one here. Do you want maybe two long ones? 
take up a good portion of the wall. Maybe square rug this time under them. I agree. And two long ones works. All right, great. Um, so now as far as what they sit on, though, um, I don't think they're going to have a rectangular, rectangular table that will work well. We may have to go with something like a counter underneath of them uh, just to give it the, the look. Rug. We need decorations. Rugs. Uh, best to check with the table, though. See if it can be stretched. Uh, so the it'll it'll it scales all the dimensions the same. So let me pull up tables real quick. See what they might have. Um, so for instance, if I pull out this table, it will either shrink down the same or grow the same um so i just don't know if i were to shrink this down to the same width i mean i could do it yeah because to get it the same length it's going to be much wider than that um okay just shrinking sure counter works better than counter will be the way to go Okay, yeah, we'll figure that out. Um, oh, let me get this back up here. Actually, I didn't have to do that. I could have just copied the other one. Um, same kind of counter. And we can also shrink the counter, too. Bring it down to a similar size as the tables and kind of a different size than the actual counter that's over here. So... that and then I need to shrink this down to the same size whoa well, that's fine actually it'll give me a better side view wow almost nailed that now, let's see let's see yep right there should work fine now uh, oh so things will move on the glass, but the glass won't move on the table. Come on. All right, so let's line these up because now we don't have the snapping element to work with us here. And actually, I, you know what? How far can I go into the wall without it sticking out? All the way to there. I just tilted my head as if that mattered. <laughs> All right, we're going to move the sun so we can see better here. I don't like working in this shade. There we go. Line this up. And how wide do we have here? Oh, honestly, that probably should be the corner. about that is this down far enough yeah all right what do we think what do we think how's it looking in the meantime i'm going to switch over to a different bard song <laughs> all right that's perfect great good 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 all right, so we'll do a second one of those. I'll line up these cases here. We'll get a big rug under it, and we'll see where we're at. In the meantime, how was your guys' day? You guys do anything good? We had good day so far. Good. Good, good, good. Yeah. 
today was pretty good. I was actually, um, I was working from home today, which was awesome. Uh, I don't get to do that too, too often. Uh, but we had some stuff come up at work, so I had to go to the office anyway. <laughs> which was a total bummer. So I still had to drive the hour and a half into work, an hour and a half back, just for a couple hours of work. Up. Oh, that looks pretty lined up. And that looks pretty lined up. Okay, cool. Cool. So we've got two display. Oh, nice. Nice. These things can hold some riches. I feel like this glass needs to have, like, some kind of arcane measures on it, some kind of unbreakable spell. square rug. Let me, let me see what kind of colors we've got. Although, this is a pretty nice rug. Oh, stop it. Do some firefly inside to light them up on the inside of the glass. Yeah, that's totally up to you, Samuel, if you want something like that. If you want to light it up. The way upstairs, I imagine, is on the inside, uh, which is actually a good point. We should keep note of that. So I'm guessing probably over here in this corner. We'll just slide this out here for a minute. Uh, but yeah, that's actually totally up to you, Sam, if you want the steps to be on the outside and keep this steps free, or if you want the steps to be on the inside. I can even have a door. I think I did. I think I was able to have a door in front of the steps. Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. Then we're on the same page. Um, thoughts on this rug? Do you want a different rug? Do you want to find a rug? Do you want me to look for a rug? Or do you like this one and where it is? Oh, I'm sorry. I missed it. Okay, great. Oh, I see it. Yep, that rug is perfect. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Cool. All right, so uh, I currently have this here. Is there anything else you want in this corner here? Um, or anything else? I guess I'll just say this whole section, in this section specifically. Suit of armor in the corner. Absolutely. So we've got a full suit, if you want to do something like that. And I think we also have, um, yeah, and we also have this. So I'll say, uh, full suit, yes, okay. Magic tattoo artist area. That would be pretty sweet. Uh, it's up to you if you if the guy running the, nah, none of the magic tattoo. I was going to say, it's up to you if the guy running it has those capabilities or not. Um, so we'll get rid of him. We'll keep the suit of armor here. Cool. Uh, anything else? <laughs> uh, no, it looks good already. Perfect. All right, so let me slide this out here, and I guess we'll start with the stairs to see what we have to do first, and then work around that. So we want stairs up. Now, I believe, I'm trying to remember, oh, here we go. I think I did this. 
Um, oh, but I need it to spiral, definitely. <laughs> yeah, that's I'm totally up to Samuel. So I think in... Let me save this real quick. Uh, downloads, that's fine. Um, give it away. I'll rename it later. And I'll pull up what I'm looking at. File, open map. I need to go to my USB drive. Dungeon Alchemist, files, Heroes Haven. Which one was it? It's, there it is. No, I, I think I understand what you're saying. I think, oh, this was not it. Hold on. Uh, it was the training grounds. So, this is what I did here. Um, I added a door. So, basically, this was a room. This little area was a room. And I was able to add a door to the bottom of the steps here. So that way it's like these people were the only ones to have access to this area. Um, so I can do something like this, or as you mentioned, we can add like an L-shaped step, but I could probably still do a door at the bottom. So just to give you an idea of what I was thinking in my head, I had something like this uh, in my head. So let me go back and open up. Giveaway map peeking on future video content <laughs> yeah those maps i already made i had actually made those before i was doing youtube anyway so i could go back and remake them but i really like how they turned out so i probably won't do that um yeah l shape l shaped stairs on the door okay i like it so let's get rid of this let's go back to here go down to structural stairs up now i need do they have that in like a darker wood to match the rest? Of course not. Of course not. So it looks like L-shaped wise, all they really have is this one. And it's not even going the right way. Although I could do it like this. I will leave that up to you. Oh, that way is perfect. Okay, cool. All right, so we'll leave it like that. Now, let's see. What did I have to do to add a door? I think I had to add the walls first. So let's... Uh, place. I don't know if this is going to work, but we'll try it been a while since I did that one so all right so I think if don't you do it just put that there for a second here in this section maybe some bookcases with books on them along the wall and two yeah I'm in that sounds fun uh, what was I just doing? at wall add freestanding this so we'll just put that here for a second, though that may change. Now, mm. I need, uh, all right, well, let's just see if a door even adds here before I do anything. So we can add a door that way. <laughs> well, probably not this one. That's a very easy one to get into. <laughs> but I mean, realistically, you don't see that anyway. I can just put it like that. So I would square it instead of the funky wall. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll see. Samuel, let me know. I'm going to do the other way real quick so you can see what both look like. Gotta stop. Ugh. And add the wall here.
I hope that opens inside. That's funny. I mean, again, it's not going to matter because it's all going to stay stationary. It's just a door. Uh, but, yeah, square looks better. Okay, cool. So we'll keep it like that. Good call. Now, oh, let me make sure before I decide to utilize that one that I do have the top version of it. Which I think I do. So this one. Yeah. So on the upstairs portion, you'll see this. But obviously, rotate like that. Cool. All right, so bookshelves. And actually, I'll put the bookshelves on the wall there. That makes it perfect. Oh, actually, do you want to add the nicer bookshelves? must have passed the bookshelf like three. I see this one but that's not the one I'm thinking of it's this but with books on it why am I not seeing that oh here we go yeah I did pass it a bunch of times something like that and then I could realistically add one more here without it being a problem uh, but that's up to you if you want the extra one there. Or I could even, option three, they were in the restricted area. <laughs> yeah, so what do you think about that? Uh, I don't know if the perfect was sent before I moved things around. So this was option three. Okay, like, all right, cool. So they'll stay as is. Now we said two rectangular shaped um, display cases, I think it was. Let me scroll back up. Uh, 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 uh. Yep, bookcase with books on along the wall and one or two rectangular display cases. Okay, perfect. So let's go find some tables for this. Now, because we're doing rectangular shaped, it should be easier to match the table to it rather than like the long rectangular shaped. Because we're gonna scale this down. And let me go back to the display. What? Oh, wait a second. So what? <laughs> Why does this stick to this table? But the other ones don't. That's crazy. Well, you need to move for a second scroll you down or scale you down a little more <laughs> all right uh, all right let's get the top down let's get this even finally you know what music I would really like to play in the background here I don't know if you guys ever listen to Bardify where he basically takes like current songs and turns them into bard style music it's so good or not Bardify um um, oh man, what is his name? Bardcore, thank you. Yes, Bardcore. <laughs> it's so good. I would love to listen to them on here, but YouTube's going to yell at me. Or so many other makers. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to. Yeah, that's a good idea. That'd be a simple email, can't hurt. You're right. And just be like, hey, you know, just starting out streaming. But I can put your name or whatever you want in everything. But 
definitely don't want to step on anyone's toes. These guys put a lot, a lot of work into making these songs and such. All right. Oh, that's sun. Here, let me move it again. <laughs> All right. All right, Samuel, what are you thinking about that? Yeah, yeah, I'll definitely have to, like, save those records. <laughs> like, that lot, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Now we just need a rug under it, I imagine. Yep, we're on the same page. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, same kind of rug, so, so it's like... We had th these two rugs on this side. You want these two rugs on this side? Now the problem is, I feel like the rugs should be evenly spaced with each other. Because I think that looks off. So I think that these four need to shift this way a little. Because I think this rug needs to go here-ish. Yeah, right around there. Let me see. Yeah, I think those rugs look even now. So now I need to make these even with the rug. Which, luckily, the pattern is going to make that a bit harder to tell if it's off. <laughs> So if it's a little off, it's all right. Mm. And I can undo, undo all of this, by the way, Samuel, if, if you think this is totally a mistake. So. Big candelabra in the center of the rug. With, yeah. Heck yeah. So that was in the lighting. I think it's floor standing or something. That's what they call it. It's not for years. Yeah. Ceiling lights, no. Is it lanterns? They have a really fancy looking one. I used it in my um, town hall map. Is it torches? It's not torches. Is it candles? Ornate torch. I don't think we want to be lighting a torch in here. This isn't the one I was thinking of, but Um, hey, give me one more minute. Let me see if I can. I know exactly what I'm looking for. I just don't know what. Oh, 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 here it is. This is what I was thinking. Oh, that one's perfect. Exactly what I was thinking. Okay, got it. Uh, so, yeah, if you want to switch it to option two, just say option two. <laughs> All right. Now, we've got this. We've got that in the back. Um, is there anything else you want in here besides, like, obviously the objects? But as far as, like, furniture goes and stuff like that. I can put a table. Um, I mean, I imagine a square table. Um, sounds like, do you know the Muffin Man? Um, 
So we could put that, we could put like a floor of a small round table. Uh, Samuel, is this what you're looking for? Jesse suggested maybe a small round table too. Is there something you want on this specifically? Um, could also maybe do like a, um, they have a book on a pedestal, I think. Yeah, could also do something like that in the middle if you wanted. Shrink the table down. Could have like drinks or something on it too. <laughs> Welcome to the magic shop. Here's a, uh, here's some lemonade. <laughs> send this all the way across actually and then we can work around it for that whilst I wait to hear about what you want so let's clear this Oops. delete objects Harpsichord is not a favorite play in the magic shop. <laughs> From open to close. <laughs> it's just all he does is just keep playing. Even after he closes, they pay him to play through the night. <laughs> and then we could have like a little flower bed outside. Oh, Warforged uh, Bard that you just make to play. Nice. We call him Juke. Juke the <laughs> Juke the Warforged. Um, yeah, Samuel, I'm just... Uh, if there's anything else you want to do here, let me know. Otherwise, uh, I'll start adding stuff. Can't leave the immovable rod. Has them in one place. Could you remove the road close to the entrance? Yeah, I can. I was going to add like a little walkway with some flowers in the front. Um, but I, it's totally up to you. I can have the roadway come right up to the door. Whichever one you want to do. Also, I just spilled water all over myself. At least it was water. But, whew. No flowers, lol. Right up close to the building. I feel it'd be better. Perfect. Can do. Can do. Alright, so. I like this crypt flooring. We'll keep this. Oops. Whoa, 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 whoa. Edit this room. Edit the shape. Add this. Remove this. Oh, no way. What happened to the... What? Did you see that? It's removing my... Uh... Spill water. Yeah, for real. <laughs> that fridge, man, took me so long to clean out. That is frustrating that it's getting rid of these. So... I'm going to move them forward so they don't get affected while I make this room. Wow. You know, I had just forgot about that widget. Thanks for the reminder. 
All right, are you kidding me? Cut it out. Why, why did it change this door here? Come on. Come on. Let's go back to Mansion. Even though it's going to do all that anyway, probably. I wish... Oh, actually, you know what? Hold on. I think... Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now we should be good. Cool. Yep, Windows it is. It still deleted these two. Come on. Are we sticking with the wood look for the door and windows? Are we switching it? Uh, let me, I'll go over to what we have now. So for double doors, you've got the wood vibe. You've got uh, <laughs> skeletal, jeez. Uh, I think actually all of these have doorless radius. All right, perfect. It stays. Uh, so let's go to the window. Now are we thinking like uh Alright, I'll give the I'll say like option A, B, C, that way you can just tell me which one in that manner. So option A is like that weird I don't it's up to you. I just don't know if the it matches with the things up top. Um I thought they had Honestly, it should probably be singles anyway, so we can yeah, so it's even because the double would be off center. Um, so how about these? I was going to give you option A, B, and C, D to start, but I'll start with how about these? <laughs> I'm thinking less singles, okay? So something like that. Hmm. I didn't even use the same ones. There you go. Cards. Oh, got it. Did you just send me that? Yeah, you did. I happened to just look up. Uh, they do have a bay window. Give me one second. Uh, here, I think. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if that's a bit much. Everybody does. Oh, everybody does release the house. <laughs> Bay window is perfect. All right, cool. I will leave those as is. Yeah, I I'm been talking to Brian. I'm hoping to, in the next couple streams, get another one of those mass pool events going. Because I think it's time. I think that we're gonna do that when we um when we release the update. So hopefully that update will be in the next couple weeks is my hope. No promises, because obviously I don't know the back end of things. <laughs> I'm just the guy on the screen. So, um, okay. So the two bay windows there are good. Anything else furniture wise on the inside? All right, 
right, let's get out, let's get out of the tavern, shall we? Let's go to the uh, I don't know what's Old Town. Let's see what we got here. Uh, how about City of Wonder? Let's see what that is. Maybe some semicircular tables on the end of. Get this icon out of the way. I can't beat this. Can I ever move these? No, I can't. That's so bad. I'm just typing a period to slide your message up. So, oh, it's just gonna let me, yeah. All right, maybe some semicircular tables on the end of the rug where it's split. Got it. Got it. Oh, do they have those? I don't know if they have any. I'll check the workshop. I might even type half circle table. I'll just do half table. Come on. All right, I unfortunately don't think I have a half circle table that I can put there. Something like one of these. <laughs> I appreciate the period. That helped. <laughs> or an even smaller, like, uh, like a, not really an end table. I think they have, or maybe they don't. Oh, that table's fine? Okay. Alrighty. that there cool 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 all right uh i guess i'm just gonna start loading some magic items on here can you put some wall candles over those tables as well actually yeah let's do the lighting first let's go for it let's go ahead and do the lighting now so what kind of wall mount candles would you like and some candles between the door and the bay window. Absolutely. Uh, so, here, I'll just hang some up so you can see what they look like, and we'll go from there. So, we'll say option A, B, uh, it's an actual candle, C. Oh, these should be odd. A little green. Uh, D, E, uh, maybe like an F here. Any of those look good? Oh, not this, this one's a gingerbread. I didn't realize it. I mean, it's up to you if you want it. You could have gingerbread in there. Here, I'll replace F with, uh, I don't know. How about this one? All right, so F. Along with two small ones on the can. Okay. I imagine this is what you're talking about. <laughs> 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 
thrown in gingerbread. All right. Is that what you were talking about, Samuel? I imagine. as well and some cans between the door and the bay windows. Yep. Diagonal to in terms of placement in the selection area. Uh okay hold on. So not that one, it's diagonal to that one. Okay. So this one? Oops. Or this one. This Floating orbs like I did with that wizard's house. Those are cool. <laughs> Alright, so is this the one you're talking about? Oh. That hurts. Oh, okay, this one. Okay, got it. Okay. So we can place those two there. Uh, of course, you're going to make me... Is this... This snapping system. Killing it. I'm going to use the shadow to line it up. <laughs> All right. Good. Yep. And could you put two between the shelf and the bay window? Well? Yep. Yeah, I was gonna ask. Uh, I I thought the same thing. <laughs> and then we'll put some lighting back by the counter as well. I imagine. suit of armor right there like that and then do you want one in between these guys Couple behind the counter, totally agree. Okay. Oh, this light. This light. I'm gonna put it at. Yeah, there we go. Give it a little. Or how about sundown? Let's go sundown. Hmm. That didn't help too much. Let's put the sun. Uh... Yeah, there you go. Give it a little evening time. All right. Let's see what kind of even spacing we can get with these. Something like that. And then I could also put one here for like hit, but I don't know, well, might be in the way. That's up to you. That one could stay, it could go. I mean, they all could stay. Right? Oh. I like the candle there on the wall next to the door. Cool, cool, cool. So, now as far as lighting throughout the, the rest, do you want more of these candelabras kind of uh, in similar areas or... Do you want different things here? What kind of lighting do you want? 
Smaller candle, beside the door maybe. Actually, instead of the small table in the middle, could you put a candle out there? Sure. I like that. And I'll rotate it just to make it look a little different. Okay. And then I guess, uh, I mean, I could realistically put one in the center of each rug. Uh, I think this needs to, is this center? I don't think this table's center. One center on each rug, perfect. On it. getting lit up. <laughs> Alright. What do you think? Anything else you want besides items? Mm. Lighting looks good. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. So... Now we have this road here. Um, what do you want on the outside of the building? Do you want same size road all the way around? Do you want like a smaller alleyway? And what about on the back? doesn't give me a hard time when I go to put any kind of roads out here and delete all this stuff. Oh shoot, I gotta fix this counter. Poking out the outside. Don't need that. Don't need... Oh gosh. Sorry, I see you messaged me. Let me just uh, fix this real quick. There we go. All right, we got nothing to the side as it would be connected to other building on either side, okay? All right. So, I think that we'll bring this in a little bit. Whoa. That was not supposed to happen. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We'll leave some room for movement outside of the... Why did that just happen? So then we can even make another building over here. Let's see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't mess it up too much. Oops. Too wide. Oh, will you stop? <laughs> See, I knew that was going to happen. I knew it. Oh, 
kind of took the lighting away. That's all right, I'll fix all that. I'll fix all that. Do it. Get it over with. Oh, I think it's going to mess up. Oh, no. Can I lock things and prevent them from being deleted? No, I can't. Um. I think it's going to delete it. I'm not even going to risk it. That's frustrating. The lights are going to get deleted, so be it. As long as these aren't. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking I might at least, like, like, make this, but have it, like, darkened so you can't even see, like, what's inside of there. Um... Uh, but that's up to you. So I'll leave it up to you. I don't mind doing this. Do you want the two buildings next to it, or do you want it just kind of keep it empty? We'll just keep it on the keep it to the magic shop. So this is what I essentially imagined I would keep it at. So that way visually you could see there's other buildings there, but it's not really what you'll be diving into, so. My dark end, but cut the behind right up to the shop instead of anything behind it. Yep, that works fine for me. All right, so I'll fix all that in one minute, but I have a feeling this is going to play with this as well, so we'll see what happens. Okay, there we go. Cool, now we got lucky there. We are good there. Okay, all right, quick fixes. Here we go. Got it. Uh, yeah, we can do... Oh, shoot. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, let's this back again. However far I can go back without it coming through. Oh, it's falling off there. That's fine. Why is it defaulting and falling off? So I'm curious, what do you guys think the highest CR item card is going to be? Now, keep in mind, I'm only using the, um, the Dungeon Master's Guide. Is this correct? Uh, I'm only using the Dungeon Master's Guide, Tasha's Cauldron of Everything, and um, uh, what is Xanathar's Guide to Everything. Oh, 
<laughs> CR19. So it's still going to be the C same CR. Sorry, I, I made that confusing. Uh, it's still going to be the same CRs. Uh, so 1 8th up to 30. Um, so it's going to be the exact same thing. Everything is going to be the same as far as pulling those. Uh, instead of monsters, it'll be items. But it's going to be CR 1 8th up to 30. So obviously the hardest things to get will be a CR 30. Um, because remember, CR in this means card rarity, not uh, challenge rating. <laughs> so, I guess, what do you think some of the CR 30 items will be? Okay, all right. I see the hand eye of Vecna. That's a good one. The deck of many Sachemon. Uh, you, my friend, have just created an item that was not originally planned to be in it, but will absolutely be in it. <laughs> I feel like I have to make that a thing. I gotta rep the brand, you know? <laughs> That's too funny. <laughs> It's just like a pack of 10 Satchamon cards. <laughs> All right. Um... Casey, how you doing? We are making a magic shop for the winner uh, who's in the chat of my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. So we are on the first floor of the magic stop. I think we're going to um, cut it at the end of the first floor being finished, but this room will have an upstairs where the person running the shop lives and stays and such. Uh, we had finished most of this, but I had an issue where adding these two buildings deleted some parts. Um, drop this in. Yeah, we had all of this part finished, and then when I went to... Now, in Samuel's defense, he said I didn't have to, but I wanted to add the look of two other buildings on the side of it. And when I went to do that, the program got all mad at me and deleted some things up against the wall. Because why not? I still love it, though. Still highly recommend Dungeon Alchemist. Centered on the table again. At a certain point here, it drops off, but looks like I'm not going to hit that. Is the table setting? Yeah, the table never got to leave. Alright. So that, so now I just need to add the shelving back in. Those lights stayed. That light's back. Those cases are back. We've still got the door to the steps. The steps can go away. Alright, cool. So, when you add item cards, we go back and create item cards for from previously. Released. I think so. Um, I believe that is the plan. Uh, I have to talk to Brian, make sure all that's possible, but I think I'm going to go add a couple cards for each of the sets that I've released so far, and then future sets will have their own items. Can't wait till they add round room. Oh my, I, tell me about it. I keep seeing their videos of the round rooms coming, and I'm like, how much longer do I have to wait? Because... <laughs> I could have used those so many times at this point. Uh, but yeah, at, at DJ Widget, uh, there will be, hopefully, so long as it works. Uh, I will go back and add them. So if you've completed your Lost Minds, which I'm almost there, unfortunately, you will have not completed it once again. <laughs> Until you get the cards. Cupboards. Was this, I believe, right? Nope, wrong way. 
Oh, stop. Are you kidding? I believe he's off. Aside from the promo Venom Fang, my pool of Gunder today was my first loss. That's wild, because I've actually, like, I know I've traded for a lot of Lost Mines, but I've actually pulled quite a few, too. And I feel like I constantly see people pulling more of them. So it's wild to hear that several people have never gotten a single one. <laughs> I'm still be waiting a while to pull Satchmo cards. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Samuel. <laughs> On the bright side, though, once the item, item cards come out, you'll be getting six every day. So you'll have more stuff to be able to trade with. And and with the update, you'll be able to sell cards, get gold, buy more cards with the gold that you got. You'll be able to um, trade, car, uh, trade gold as a trading commodity with other people. So if you don't necessarily have the card that they might want or something, you can still trade with gold. And there's going to be a rolling shop. Uh, so there's going to be like every, we haven't decided time wise, maybe every six or 10 hours, a shop that updates with like five to 10 new cards that you could buy. It's going to be a bit more expensive to buy them in the shop, but it'll give you more of an option to get more cards. Okay. Those are back. Everything's back. Good. I need to make a wall back here. Got to get my fix on that. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm really excited. Uh, once there's so many more things that we'll be able to do, it's going to be wild. I'm hoping that I'm just constantly seeing people buying and selling cards and stuff. What I think would be really cool is if when you sell the cards, it gets put into like a pool of cards that could make their way back to the item shop. So like for instance, if somebody for some reason sold their Venom Fang promo, that card isn't lost to the ether. It could come back up into the shop. Uh, Samuel, how do you feel about it? What do we think? Uh, do you want anything up here? Do you want me to bring this up to the road? Do you want, like, trees? Do you want other buildings like these? That won't mess up our building, which is good, because it'd be across the road. You let me know how you feel about this here, and then what I can do is actually, uh, bring it up to the road. Got it. Um, rather than you guys watching me put a whole bunch of, uh, a whole bunch of magic items and stuff on the shelves... I can start putting a bunch on there and then meet up with you at some point, have you see it, see where you like the magic items, uh, if there's some you want deleted or moved or added or whatnot, um, we can do that. That way you don't have to watch me put a whole bunch of <laughs> magic items in here. But I can also, you can let me know afterwards like what kind of things you'd want where to, if you want to do it that route. But yeah, I like it. This is cool. This is a very fancy magic shop that I love. I also really like, I almost feel like you should keep it in this, uh, in this evening glow. I really like the look of it. Because it really accentuates the lighting. Yeah, sounds great. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So we'll do that then. Yeah, this is sweet. This is sweet. Good call. Good call. <clears throat> so, I mean, I had kind of planned, uh, up until like 1045, 11-ish. So if there's anything... That you guys want to see oh uh, Samuel I leave it up to you if you would like me to add a small grid streets hides the exotic interior of magic I can add a a, a dark black uh, hold on. if you want it or like a what's a necrotic fog let me see And why is it not placing? What? Uh, maybe not. Oh, here we go. What? That's weird. I don't like it just because it's not placing it in like a normal organic fashion. Yeah, it's weird. I guess it's because it's in a room. But. Uh, yeah, Samuel, if you would like me to add a signature mammal into here, we can totally do that too. 
<laughs> no, I agree. I don't like the smoke effect either. I, I totally agree. Do I even still have the mouse? I think I do. I don't think I deleted it or anything. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is a fancy place. I don't know if they'd have rats running around in here, but. Or an owl. An owl. So, secret rat, secret owl. <laughs> There's also a bird cage. I could add a bird cage if you wanted to do that, too. Add an owl into a bird cage. See this one. This looks like it's the only option. Because the other one was a carving. Oh, that's cool. He's moving. Do you want me? To, oh, do you want me to put him on the uh, suit of armor's shoulder? <laughs> he lives on the yard. It's actually his suit of armor. <laughs> there you go. Got yourself an armor owl. <laughs> so we have a secret rat in another map, and we've got a semi secret owl in this map. <laughs> Yeah, that is sweet. I feel like you could have some some awesome uh, lore behind that owl. Maybe he's uh, he's another proprietor of the magic shop that uh, polymorphs himself into an owl just to see him like he's not watching. He's the one that watches over the whole area, makes sure no one's stealing anything. Or the owl is just the shopkeeper. Yeah, there's no one standing behind the counter. And when someone comes up to buy something, he just flies over and polymorphs himself back into a human or whatever he is. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, cool. So, how do you feel about it? Everything's good, besides all the items being added? Bring it back to daytime, just for just for funsies. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, well that was fun. So let me save this. I asked to make a deal in this position. The guy helped me start talking to the owl. <laughs> Guy's just taking advice from an owl. <laughs> oh, too funny. All right. Well, uh, I think I'm going to end it a little early then here. I appreciate all the input, Samuel. I really like this. I'm excited to... Um, so, with your permission, I would like to put it up on Patreon for free. I'm not going to make anything off of it. <laughs> this is all your idea. But at least somewhere for people to access it. Um, so, if that's totally okay with you. If not, no big deal. You can even tell me after if you don't want to say it here. Um, but. Okay, cool. And uh, Vorpearl Sword. I wonder if they have that. There's a Vorpal Blade. It just looks like a knife though, doesn't it? Oh, that's kind of cool. I didn't realize it had this intricacy. That's kind of cool. There's life in there. Huh. Uh, yeah, I mean, we could, I'll download it and have it. Maybe we'll throw it on uh, somewhere. I don't know, do we leave blades out on the tables? <laughs> Oh, that was bigger than I thought. I thought it was, like, knife size. I feel like it probably should be. <laughs> That's funny. All right, y'all. Well, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go catch some sleep because it's been a little while since. <laughs> um, no, 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 no. You're good. You're good. No worries. So, uh, yeah, Samuel, I appreciate all the input. I've had a lot of fun making it. 
Uh, Widget, good having you here. Uh, Casey, fun talking to you. I don't know if you're still here or not. But, uh, yeah, I'm also looking forward to the curved walls. Yeah, I know. I thought this was going to take me a few days to get just this room done. But look at us. <laughs> so, all right, everybody. I appreciate you hanging out. And I'll be in touch. Uh, obviously, I'll be over on the Discord quite a bit. So, uh, you'll see me there. And I can't wait to pull some Storm King's Thunder cards. Can't wait. All right. See y'all. Have a good night.